Has this ever happened to you? Hey, I have an op boom field tested with a good float. Anyone interested? Hello, my friend. Very nice skins, my friend. I want. Well, it looks like on buff, it's listed for about 1500 RMB, so I'd be looking for a little bit more than that for the float. Well, man, that boom is very boom boom. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, think about it, man. If I want to trade boom to someone, they might get scared of the boom boom. Isn't this game rated 17 and up? Some 17 years old and up, people are still scared of the boom boom. Anyway, also the mean boom boom gun is going to drop in value. Oh really? Why is that? And my brother tell me it will go down in value. That doesn't sound like very good reasoning. Man, it is good reasoning. My brother work for Volvo. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Valve. Man, I can give you 40 US dollar for boom boom and 20 US dollar for 57, but that's the most I can give because it will drop below that soon. I'm already overpaying you above market price. Wait, if it's gonna drop below that point, then why are you buying it for more? Oh crap! Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about sharking as the intro suggests. So if you guys are having a good Thanksgiving, you maybe can make it a little bit better by checking out my Discord server in the description below. I'm doing a little bit of a small giveaway on there for Thanksgiving and we have a few other giveaways on there all the time and a great investment chat if you want to go ahead and get some good recommendations for investments for CSGO. But let's go ahead and take a look at our sponsor for today's video and then let's talk about sharking. The sponsor for today's video is Skinport.com. Very thankful to have them as a sponsor. They're a great site to go to for all of your item needs. They have a huge selection of items and great prices across the board, so there's really no reason not to use them as a site. Be sure to use my link in the description below to go ahead and support me and also to support Skinport. They're a great site to use. Go ahead and check them out. All right, so what exactly is sharking and how do you avoid it? So sharking and scamming kind of go hand in hand. A lot of people for the longest time said that they're not the same thing, but I personally think they are pretty close together. Basically the thing that sharking and scamming have in common is that you're taking advantage of somebody, especially someone that knows less than you do, and you're using that sort of power that you have over that person in order to take their items and leave them with almost nothing. Sharking though is a bit more complicated than scamming and there's a little bit more of a moving parts kind of aspect of it. So that's that's why we're talking about it in this video. Scamming is very much just don't do this thing and you'll be able to avoid the scam. Sharking is a little bit more complicated than that because a lot of people that are going to shark you or could shark you are going to be random people that you're just trading with and they're not going to seem too conspicuous. So in the intro you saw sort of a hyperbolic example of sharking, somebody trying to get a cheaper price on items just because those items have a certain quality that the person deems to be unacceptable for a higher price. So for example, like the boom that I had, I would actually ask around 12 100 RMB for an op like that, which is about 167 US dollars, and somebody would probably try to shark me by saying, oh, well, it's a Katowice 2014 sticker, those are going to go down in price, so therefore the item is not worth $167 right now, it's actually worth less money, and so they'd obviously underpay me and then take that item and sell it for a profit. So that's kind of the issue with sharking. Sharking is a little bit more inconspicuous, it's a little bit more intangible, people will kind of come up with some stuff that is going to make some sense, and it's going to make you want to maybe sell your item for a cheaper price. So what I would really recommend when it comes to sharking and how to avoid it is to make sure you just know your item. That's the main thing when it comes to avoiding sharking is just making sure you really know your item and getting good price checks on all the items that you have, good trustworthy price checks, because that's going to allow you to know the true value of your item and make sure that someone's not able to underpay you. Usually sharks are going to look for a way to make your item seem less valuable than it actually is, usually by showing you maybe some fake screenshots of prices for your items. This can be done in a wide variety of ways. For example, one of the things that I remember is when I was asking somebody how much their LGB Catavate 2014 sticker AK Redline was, they showed me a doctored CS Money screenshot of their AK on the site, which obviously was not the correct price of it, and because I knew how the pricing algorithm kind of works on CS Money, I knew that it was a fixed screenshot and therefore I did not deal with the person. But obviously people are going to do stuff like that to try and get an edge over you, obviously these items are not going to be worth what they're saying they are, and that's kind of where they get you. So on that same kind of note, obviously sharking can actually be done both ways. Ways. Somebody can come up to you and try to convince you that your item is worth less, and they can also try to convince you that their item is worth more. This is both sharking because the people are trying to convince you of something that is actually not true. Now scamming is a bit different than this obviously because a scam is going to include the person just totally robbing you out of something and just taking advantage of you, or even 
just straight up stealing your account or your API using an API scam. So there's obviously going to be a lot more of a direct correlation with a scam and an item getting taken. It's not going to be so intangible where there's a little bit more of a value discrepancy. Another key aspect of sharking is that the person who's sharking you is going to be cognizant of the value of your item and that's why they're going to be targeting you. So let me give you an example of a previous very recent sharking attempt. Somebody was going for a very nice AK Blue Gem worth around $2,000 and they paid them only about $200, a, obviously a far cry from the actual value of the AK. Now the person obviously knew that the AK was worth a lot of money because they'd actually gotten some price checks from other people and they were aware the AK was very expensive. They decided to lowball the person, or you know, as they called it, lowballing, when in reality it was actually sharking, by offering the person a lot less for the AK than it was actually worth, like I said, $200. So clearly the person was sharking the person because they knew the value of the AK was much higher, but they offered them a much lower price to get the AK for very cheap. And speaking of lowballing, that's actually where a lot of the differentiation comes in the community. Lowballing and sharking are obviously two different things. Sharking is where you're trying to get an advantage over the person and really trying to convince them that their item is worth less than it actually is worth. Whereas lowballing is where you're just offering the person a low value for their item, trying to maybe get at least a current offer off of them rather than maybe just buying the item upright. Lowballing is obviously not as bad as sharking because you're not going to be offering them so much less, and you're also not going to be obviously trying to convince them that their item is worth less, so lowballing can, can be considered not as bad as sharking. But in reality, I do consider lowballing to be a pretty scummy thing to do as well. You should try to offer people fair offers for their item. As with lowballing and sharking, the best way to avoid these two things is just, just make sure that you're getting good price checks on your items. There's a large amount of places to go in order to get really high quality price checks. You can use my Discord server, you can use other Discord servers, Servers. You can obviously use Global Offensive Trade. There's a huge amount of ways to get really good, high quality price checks for your items. So make sure you're doing that in order to make sure you have a good idea of the value you should be asking on all of your items. Now before this video concludes, I wanted to give one more quick little rundown of lowballing versus sharking versus scamming, since all three of them are different tiers of bad. While they are all kind of scummy in their own right, they are all in different tiers. Lowballing obviously is the least bad out of all of them, although it is still pretty scummy. Sharking is going to be next, where it's kind of really still bad and a bad thing to do, but it's not as bad as scamming, because scamming in a lot of cases is going to take the entire account from the person. So that's kind of how they stack up against each other. Lowballing is bad, but not as bad as sharking. Sharking is bad, but not as bad as scamming. As a quick recap, sharking is basically where someone has the cognizant information of how much an item is worth, and they deliberately offer you a tiny amount of value for your item in order to try and convince you that your item is worth less money than it actually is. That way they can make a lot of profit off of you and obviously shark you in the process. Sharking is a very bad thing to do. It will ruin your reputation. It's ruined many people's reputation on Twitter that I've seen at least. And it's going to make you obviously a figurehead of hate and malice in the community. As with anything, the best way to avoid sharking is to do your research, make sure you have your due diligence done, and you have a good price check on all of your items. Like I said, lots of ways to do that, so just go ahead and explore, figure out the best way to get price checks on your items, and that's how you're going to avoid all of them. So guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been in the works for quite a while. I've been wanting to make sort of an educational series on how to avoid getting scammed and sharked. If you guys want more videos like this in the future, be sure to let me know in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed that intro. That intro was a lot of fun to make. Make. and shout out to no fear and also ethan.dll for helping me out with making it so guys if you want to go ahead and check out my discord server my twitter and also skinport those links are all in the description below and they're great places to go check out i am really thankful for my community on youtube thank you guys for watching the video really truly i am very glad that you took time out of your day to come spend it with me i'll see you all next time peace oh a new video coming very soon on a sequel to the 20 dollars challenge that i did in the past i think it'll be pretty fun so go ahead and check that out when it releases